what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's having a great day yes we are back again with a road glide update for you guys i know you guys have been waiting many months for a road glide upload on the channel well today's your lucky day without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video so i've been wanting to put these galfer waved rotors on my bike for a while now and i just could not bite the bullet because they are so expensive and i kept pushing it off pushing it off pushing it off and i was like you know what I've got almost 12,000 miles on my road glide and I need new tires on the bike. So I went ahead and ordered up the Metzler Cruise Tech tire. This is a new tire like as of two years ago and a lot of the performance bagger guys are running it. The rear is a radial and the front is a bias ply. You cannot get the front in a radial. I wish you could get a radial in the front to match the radial in the rear, but unfortunately you can't. I called Metzler Tires, which is now owned by Pirelli Tires and I talked to them about it and they said it's absolutely fine. You're not gonna notice any difference. The load rating's the same on both tires. So go ahead and order this pair. And this is the same pair that a lot of the performance bagger guys are running on all the different pages I've been seeing. So we went ahead and ordered up the Metzler Cruise Tech tires and the stock size variation is, is stock. So the rear is a 180, 55, 18 and the front is a 130, 60, 19. So went with the same exact tire size as stock, except for these Metzler Cruise Techs are supposed to handle and perform a lot better than the stock Harley Dunlops that come on the bike. So like I mentioned, the rear is a radial. They made it a radial because uh, a lot of bikes over the 120 wheel horsepower mark do not hook on the street, sometimes don't hook at the track, and uh, they definitely needed more of a sticky drag radial type tire that's also good for the rain and daily riding. So they came out with this Cruise Tech tire. I've heard nothing but great reviews on it, so I cannot wait to mount them up on the Road Glide and go try them out. And while I had the wheels off the bike to mount the new tires on them, I said, you know what? So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the new Galfer waved rotors. There, I got both front and rear with new pads, with matching Galfer pads. These two are the fronts, and then here's the rear. They're the waved rotors, I got them in black to match the whole color scheme I have going on the bike here. It's black and silver. Um, as you can see, there's two rotors on the front that come standard on the new road glides, and then obviously the one in the rear. A lot of guys don't change the rear out, especially with stretched bags like me, the factory stretch bags, because it is hard to see the rotor and you honestly don't even see them. But the other reason to get these Galfer rotors is for performance. You add more performance to your bike, you need to add more braking power. So I justified it like that. Being that I can't see the rear rotor, I said, you know what, I might as well get all matching rotors and pads, and also it will help with the braking performance on the motorcycle as well. So I went ahead and purchased all three. The price tag was not pretty. I will leave a link in the description below on where to get these and also where to get the tires. I will leave all the information in the description below with part numbers and everything for each rotor, each brake pad, and each tire. I know a lot of guys that are watching this video are very interested in this setup. It's a very popular setup for a performance bagger, so I will definitely provide you guys with that information in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that out. So it's kinda hard to tell right now on the rear because I have it backed in the garage and I don't have it up on the stand just yet, but I'll show you the front tire. I have 11,700 miles on the stock tires, front and rear. As you can see, they're starting to get a little squared off, and I didn't really notice it until it got colder out and I was riding the bike pretty aggressive around corners. That's when I noticed that the tires were definitely bad. I'm happy I got 12,000 miles out of the stock tires. I know a lot of guys don't even get that. I think the reason why I got so many miles on my stock tires is because I never did any burnouts with this bike. Obviously done whole shots from a light and spun the tire, but I've never done a full on burnout. So the tread on the tires definitely lasted longer than most. So I can't complain there at all. But without further ado, let's go ahead and put the bike up on the stand, get the saddlebags pulled off, and uh, get the front and rear wheels pulled off the bike so I can take them up to my local shop to have them put the tires on. I don't have a tire machine here at the house, so definitely gonna have to take the wheels up to the shop, have them mount and balance the new tires, bring them back to the house, then we're gonna mount up the brand new Galfer waved rotors and install the new brake pads for those as well. All right guys, so fast forward to February 22nd, okay? Here we are, February 22nd in the garage. It's a blistering zero degrees out here in Michigan. And I have the Road Glide up on the stand, and I know, don't hate me, I did not have time to pick up the camera and take a video of me dismounting my wheels 
and dismounting the tires, putting the new rotors on, putting the new brake pads on, and putting the new tires on, and then obviously mounting it back up. I'm in a rush because I'm heading to Daytona next week for Daytona Bike Week. So if you guys are watching and you guys are going down to Daytona, comment down below, let me know. Maybe we can meet up. I'll see you downtown. Maybe see you at the Speedway. Maybe see you at the Harley dealer. Who knows? I'll be around. I'll be down there from March 4th through March 12th. So the reason why I didn't have time to pick the camera up and, and film every step of this process for you guys is because I'm in a rush and I'm getting a late start at this. I started this video months ago before, I think it was back in uh, October when I started this video. And I've just been super busy with everything going on in my life right now. Work's been busy and I just haven't had much time to pick up the camera and do some video for you guys. But here we are back at it. Got the bike up on the lift, got the new tires on, got the new brake rotors on, and have the new uh, brake pads on as well. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is just go around and show you guys the new rotors and show you guys the new tires. And then to get down to Daytona, I'll do a little review on the tires and the brakes for you guys uh, and let you know if it's worth the upgrade. It honestly wasn't that bad to take the wheels off yourself instead of having the dealer do it. The front wheel comes right off, no problem. Um, you just take off your axle nut covers, which some of you might not even have those. And then you take off the nut, you undo this bolt right here, this Allen bolt, and then basically just have somebody holding the wheel while you take the axle out and the front one just drops out. You have to put your jack all the way up on the highest setting for that to clear the fender. You also have to take your front brake calipers off so that it allows the wheel and the rotor to slide right out of the caliper. So that's a must, you must do that. And then what I did is I draped them over my crash bar here with a microfiber so it didn't scratch anything. But yeah, that's basically your first step is to remove your axle nut covers, remove the nut on the other side, remove that Allen bolt, and then obviously remove the brake calipers and then pull the axle out, the front wheel drops right out. And I apologize, once again, I did not pick up the camera when I actually did this install. I've just been super busy and I'm trying to get my bike done before Daytona because like I mentioned, I leave in a week and I just haven't had much time to come out here and do a step-by-step -step video on that for you guys. But over here, I had to take off my uh, saddlebag mount. I had to take off my uh, dummy pipe over here on the left side. I also had to take off this saddlebag mount with the muffler on my two into one pipe as well. So basically you have to take both pipes off so that you can get to that nut and you can get to this bolt over here which is your axle bolt. And you wanna have two or three people helping you when you do this. Once you get that nut off, you have to have somebody underneath the bike holding the wheel so that it doesn't just slide down and scratch everything when you pull the axle out. Uh, it's really tricky, but uh, if you have two or three people helping you on a bike stand like this, you'll have no issues. But that's basically, in short, how you take the wheels off of any 2015 to current Street Glide or Road Glide or any touring bike for that matter. But uh, that's what you got to do. It is kind of a pain in the butt. The rear wheel is definitely a pain in the butt. You got to remove the exhaust, the saddlebag mounts, and uh, if you have a dummy pipe or an actual exhaust pipe over here, you have to remove that as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically, in short, the process. Take your wheels off of a bagger. Check out these Galfer waved rotors, guys. What a difference did it make to the look of this bike. And not only do they look better, but they're supposed to perform way better than the stock rotors. So I can't wait to get down to Daytona and try these things out. I also replaced the stock brake pads with Galfer brake pads. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to test these bad boys out in Florida. Obviously they're a little tight still just because I haven't rolled it around and I haven't, you know, got it off the stand yet. But uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these rotors. I think it made the bike look so much better and so much tougher with those uh, waved brake rotors on there from Galfer. And then also the new Metzler Cruise Tech tire. I don't know if you guys can see, but the tread pattern on it's really sweet. I love the tread pattern. And uh, yeah, cannot wait to try these new tires and brakes out down in Daytona. Literally have like eight more days and I'll be on the road. Moving on to the back, as you can see, I did replace the rear rotor. A lot of guys with baggers don't replace the rear brake rotor because you can't see them when you put your saddle bag on. Especially that I have the extended bags and I have a full exhaust. You really can't see the, the golf or waved rotor. The reason why I did it is because I wanted to have all three matching rotors on the bike. It would have bothered my OCD just to have the two front Galfers and then the stock rear. Plus, I have 12, almost 12,000 miles on my bike right now, and I wanted to have, I wanted to put fresh brake pads on it anyway when I did my tire change. So I was like, you know what? I coughed up the extra 300 bucks and bought the third rotor, and uh, yeah. I'm definitely glad I did it because it looks trick. It's definitely gonna help stopping this performance bagger. The rear tire is a radial, 
and the Metzler Cruise Tech is known for being one of the stickiest DOT street tires for a bagger. Um, and I definitely need that with the amount of horsepower I'm pushing. This bike's only pushing 120 horsepower to the wheel and 130 foot-pounds of torque. However, I do have plans to do a 128 kit in this here in the near future, so stay tuned for those videos. It's coming. Uh, I won't give away all the details just yet, but stay tuned. I have a lot of motor work coming for this bike, and uh, I'll be doing it here when I get back from Daytona. So mate, you're not gonna wanna miss that. If you're here for Harley content, just wait. It's gonna get even better. I'm gonna film everything in Daytona. I'm gonna try to do like a daily vlog. Every day I'm down there and every event I go to, I'm gonna try to pick up the camera. Like I said, I've been slacking on content. I've just been super busy. Honestly, guys, I just haven't had time to film or do anything YouTube related. Uh, but anyway, the bike is now done. I gotta throw the saddlebags on it. Give it one good little detail and then i'm going to load it up in the trailer and head to daytona here in about a week so i cannot wait to try these new metzler cruise tech tires and the new galfer wave rotors and like i previously mentioned i will give you guys an update on the tires and the brakes once i get down to florida and put about 100 miles on them give you guys my full and honest review like i always do with every product i've ever put on the 2019 road glide i know a lot of you og subscribers that have been following me for a while on the channel you guys are still commenting and I appreciate you. You guys don't understand how much I appreciate your support on the channel. I wouldn't be able to do this stuff without you guys. So like I said, if you guys are gonna be down in Daytona for Daytona Bike Week, make sure you guys comment down below. Hit me up on Instagram at Do Work Motorsports. Let me know where you guys will be. I will be at all the different events throughout the week and I will be downtown every night, people watching. If you guys have been down there, you know it gets pretty wild. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Like I said, I appreciate all your support on the channel. Make sure you guys hit me up if you're going to be down in Daytona Bike Week for 2022. I hear it's going to be wild. On that note, I'm going to get the bike off the stand, get it cleaned up, get it loaded up in the trailer. And in the next video, I will be heading down to Daytona Beach, Florida for Daytona Bike Week 2022. So make sure you guys stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.